Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is a part 3 of the video tutorial Student Management System Project in ASP.NET C Sharp Coding. Now let's log in again with the admin credentials. The username is admin and the password is admin123. Login. So here yeah, after login, it redirects to the admin page. We got the admin link button in the menu bar. Now let's select student table. See here we got the student details is added. Let's add tutor, submit the tutor table we got here. Course table and we got the records from the course table in the grid view control. Now in my next video, the final video, I will add how the admin can delete the records, update the records from this admin page on these three tables if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates in my previous videos part 1 and part 2 I have showed how to create the tables in SQL Server Management Studio and how to insert the records the student details the course details and the tutor details and also will send an email the receipt to the student email ID now in this part 3 video I will show you after login with admin credentials the password is the admin123 right now this admin page contains only one header tag this is the content page and above this the heading basic student management system and below the links are the master page now I will create one more link button for the admin page now in this admin page the admin can manage the student records, course records and the student details. Let's log out. Let's switch to the coding part. Now before start the coding part I strongly recommend please watch my previous videos part 1 and part 2 videos. Now I am continuing where the part to have stopped. Now switch to the admin page. Notice here the admin content page only we got a header tag. So let's write. So after the admin page let's add the horizontal line. After the horizontal line I am adding a drop down list control. In the drop down list control I will get the table names. The table names are the tutor table, student table and the course table. These three tables I want to display bind in the drop down list control. Let's add the drop down list control, open toolbox. Here is a drop down list control, let's add that one. And this drop down list control, ASP list item. We have three tables so I require three list items. Now in this list item I am adding the table names. We have to add the exact the same table name. Course table. The second table name is student table. The third one is a tutor table. Copy that one. So after adding the table names in this list item inside the drop down list control. Now I am adding the button control open toolbox button control. I am adding the text property to the button submit and the button id is submit. After that I am adding a grid view control. The selected table I want to display the records in the grid view control. So open toolbox. I am minimizing the standard folder. Expand the data folder. Here we have the grid view control. Let's select that one. We got the grid view control is added to our admin page. Now switch to the design mode. And see here we got the controls added in the design page, the drop down list, button control and the grid view control. Let's double click the button control. 
it will generate the double button click event first let's add the namespaces using system dot data dot sql using system dot data dot sql client using system dot configuration after adding these three namespaces now in the button click event now in this button click event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is the my connection dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding main connection string SQL query is equals to here the query I want to display the table names in the drop down list control so to get the table names select start from we are getting the table names from the drop down list control so let's add the drop down list one dot selected item dot text SQL con dot open method SQL con let's close the connection string SQL con dot close method now between this open and close I'm adding SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command SQL command this one is the SQL command takes two parameters the first one is a command text which is a SQL query object oh, it's not a string SQL query comma and the connection object which is a SQL con so after adding the SQL command now I'm adding a SQL data adapter as D A is equals to new SQL data adapter in this adapter I'm adding a SQL com object data table also we require SQL it's not SQL we don't require SQL we need data as system data so we can access a data table class data table DT is equals to new data table SGA dot fill I'm filling the data with the data table object now let's bind the data table object into a grid view control grid view one dot data source is equals to the source we are getting from the data table then the final one is a add the data bind method data bind method that's it we have binded the table names in the drop down list control so once the admin select a particular table from the drop down we will get those records in a grid view control let's check the output google chrome now let's log in with the admin credentials the admin the password is admin123 login and notice here after I log in, we got the drop down list control and button control with the table names course table, student table, and tutor from the database and button control. Before we got only the admin page. Now let's select the student table submit. And here we got the student records. Let's select the tutor details submit. And here we got the tutor details. Let's select the course table and here we got the course records from the database. So let's add a new course. The course name is jQuery, duration is 2 months and the fees is 2500. Insert new course. The course is added. Let's log out add admin admin123 login 
so I'm selecting course table submit see the jQuery is added into our course table now the last one we require the admin link button so let's log out again go to the code behind stop debugging open mask page we'll add the admin mm. after the students let's copy this one and this one is the admin hyperlink link button let's delete this on click event the id i'm changing to lmk admin switch to the design mode you see here we got the admin link double click that one here we got the link admin click event i'm adding the function redirect response dot redirect between double quotes i'm adding this admin page admin page dot aspx semicolon that's it let's check the final output go to home page google chrome now let's log in again with the admin credentials the username is admin and the password is admin123 login see so here after login it redirects to the admin page we got the admin link button in the menu bar now let's select student table see here we got the student details is added let's add tutor submit the tutor table we got here course table and we got the records from the course table in the grid counter now in my next video the final video i will add how the admin can delete the records update the records from this admin page on these three tables and once again i'm telling if you missed my previous videos part one and part two here are the links part one and part two thanks for watching and catch you all in my next video log out